هاي ان شاء الله مو بنب ان شاء الله اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا وشر لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم اما بعد we say in the name of Allah most gracious most merciful Truly and verily, all praise, all thanks, all glory is due to Allah's for the law. We praise Him and we seek only His help and His forgiveness. We also seek refuge in Allah's for the law from the evil of our nafs and our nafs is our carnal desires. Our nafs is our lusts. And Allah's for the sin of the Quran that your nafs, your carnal desires, it is inclined to do su. It is inclined to do evil except by the mercy of Allah. Our soul is inclined to do evil except by the mercy of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran. How do we obtain Allah's mercy? How do we obtain Allah's mercy? Because the mercy is obtained. You want to obtain that mercy to obtain that rahmah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So how do I obtain that rahmah so that my nafs, so that my corner desires and my lusts will not be inclined to do evil? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran. Ati Allah, Rasul, la'ala kutur hamun, obey Allah. Obey the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, so that you may be of those who obtain mercy. So mercy from Allah subhanahu wa taala is obedience to Allah the Quran and obedience to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the Sunnah. Okay. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. So we bear witness that there is no God but Allah subhanahu wa taala, the one God who has no partners. And we bear witness that Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the slave of his messenger, Amma The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that the best speech, the best hadith. Is the speech of Allah meaning in the Quran? There is nothing better than the Quran. There is no dictation better than the Quran. There is no compilation better than the Quran. There is no laws better than the Quran. The best speech is the speech of Allah meaning in the Quran, and the best guidance, the best example, is the example of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And the worst of all matters are those things that are innovated by the people. For all innovation leads to bid'a. All bid'a leads to dalala. All dalala is going to stray off the sirat al mustaqim. And all the lala is in the nard, which is the fire. So we seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa taala from that fire. We say, "Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana, wa fil akhirati hasana, wa kina adabana." Ya Allah, give us good in this life. Ya Allah, give us good in the next life. And Ya Allah, save us from the punishment of the fire. Ya Allah, Amin. We say Amin. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. We're here for another day of class with this Tawheed movement. And when I say Tawhid movement, many might want to ask, "Well, what does Tawhid movement mean? What is Tawhid movement?" First of all, the first word is Tawhid. Okay, Tawhid, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa taala, the proclamation of the oneness of Allah. Tawhid, La ilaha illallah. That's Tawhid movement. Meaning, we try to move towards that Tawhid movement, right? Tawhid movement is the changing of the psyche. Tawhid movement is the changing of the psyche from Jahiliya to Islam, inshallah, one day at a time, one sooner at a time. So Tawhid movement is that we're changing our psyche from Jahiliya to Islam, one day at a time, one sooner at a time. That's Tawhid movement. All we're saying is that we're striving to inculcate Islam into our life, remove the Jahiliya, start deleting and start erasing, start of the start some of the Jahiliya that's in our life. And start inculcating Tawheed and what Allah Subhanahu says into our life. Okay, I gave an example a while ago when I was in college back in the day, and I took a class called、uh, psychology. And in that class, the professor said, "Your mind is like a computer. Listen up. Your mind is like a computer. Anything that you input into your brain, such as whatever you read, whatever you you know take into your psyche, into your eyes, or whatever." You are inputting it into your brain, so therefore, whatever you input into your brain, into input into your psyche, that is what you regurgitate, right? That's the only thing that it can output. Your body can output only that which it inputs. So he said, if you start inputting only good knowledge, or you start inputting good information, and you start deleting all the bad information, don't even start putting that. Bad information into your mind. The only thing that you will regurgitate, the only thing that will come out your mind is what good information. Okay. So therefore, I use that uh, 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 analogy with regards to the brain and the computer and uploading and deleting 
And now the thing is, if I upload nothing but Islam, if I upload nothing but Quran, if I upload nothing but Quran and the Sunnah, if I upload nothing but the Sharia, if I upload nothing but the do's and the don'ts of Islam, and I start deleting the Jahaliyyah, then guess what? The only thing that's going to come out of my mouth, the only thing that I'm going to do is Quran and Sunnah. This is what we mean, this is what we mean by Tawheed movements. The changing of the psyche, one day at a time, one soon at a time. So the answer was Tawheed movement, that's what it is. Changing the psyche of the mind from Jahaliyyah to Islamiyyah, inshallah, one day at a time, one soon at a time. Very simple.